Welcome to class 7 mathematics classes. Today we will start a new chapter exponent chapter number 5. So my dear students you have seen in class 6 that exponential forms of different number okay I mean like this x to the power 5 2 to the power 3 this kind of numbers you have seen in class 6 okay 5 to the power 3 etc okay these are exponential form numbers written in exponential form okay so what is exponent then exponent is an expression is an expression okay it is an expression where it represents where it represents repeated repeated multiplication of the same factor okay so like here x to the power 5 x to the power 5 means what x 5 times x into x into x into x into x 1 2 3 4 5 2 to, 2 to the power 3 means what 2 to the power 3 means 2 into 2 into 2 okay similarly this is also like that 5 into 5 into 5 now if I write a number like x to the power n here okay this part this part is called as base of this exponential form and this upper part is called as exponent or it has name named as index also and it is sometimes called as power also so how to read a number like this x to the power n x to the power n okay and this one let me see let me write here x to the power 2 it is read as x square okay how it is read as x square and if i write here in the power 3 it is read as x to the power 3 or x cube okay so in this manner these all are there now important is laws of laws of exponent okay important to understand is laws of exponent so let us do that number one law is a to the power m into a to the power n okay a to the power m into a to the power n that means the base here see this the base are same so to apply the laws of exponent in our solutions we must see the base are same or not okay if the base are same then only we can apply the laws of exponent here you see a to the power m into a to the power n then we can solve it by adding the powers here base is a and the power of these this is m and the power of this is n so we have to add these two okay the sum of the power so a to the power m into a to the power n is equals to a to the power m plus n okay example example 2 to the power 3 into 2 to the power 4 okay example so here base is 2 and the powers are 3 and 4 so it will be written as 2 to the power 3 plus 4 which is equal to 2 to the power 7 4 plus 3 is 7 okay so next law is a to the power m and a to the power n a to the power m by a to the power n and in this case a to the power m minus n that is the power of the numerator minus the power of the denominator okay 
when we divide a to the power m by a to the power n then solution is a to the power m minus n example 2 to the power 4 suppose divided by 2 to the power 3 then the power of the numerator is 4 and the power of the denominator is 3 so 4 minus 3 is 1 that is 2 to the power 1 which is equals to 2 okay again number 3 is a to the power m by a to the power n now this we can write this two are same only sometimes we can write for the solution 1 by a to the power n minus m that is the numerators the denominators power minus the numerators power okay so 1 by a to the power n minus m okay power of the denominator minus the power of the numerator okay example you can see example example here 2 to the power 3 by 2 to the power 4 then 1 by 2 to the power of denominator that is 4 minus the power of the numerator that is 3 so 1 by 2 to the power 1 which is equals to 1 by 2 4 number laws of indices a to the power a to the power m all to the power n okay so this can be written as a to the power m into n m into n a to the power m whole to the power n is written as a to the power m n m into n a to the power m n okay example let us see example example suppose 2 to the power 3 whole to the power 4 then it can be written as 2 to the power 3 into 4 okay so 4 3 is a 12 that is 2 to the power 12 okay so few laws are there which we have to remember next is 5 a b to the power n so any two numbers which is multiplying and to the power something is written as a to the power n b to the power n okay we can distribute the power example 2 into 3 whole to the power 5 suppose okay that means this power goes to this also this power goes to this also in this case so 2 to the power 5 into 3 to the power 5 we have distributed the powers okay next let's see 6 number it is a to the power 0 that is anything to the power 0 is equals to 1 okay anything to the power 0 is equals to 1 so example to understand I am giving you 5 to the power 0 that is 1 99 to the power 0 is 1 x to the power 0 is also equal to 1 that means anything to the power 0 is equals to 1 so my dear students these are few laws of indices list it in a piece of paper and learn it okay this we have to use in our solutions or in our exercises now let us go for exercise exercise 5a okay Question number 1. Evaluate. Evaluate means to find the value. Okay. Evaluate. Number 1. 7 to the power 4. Okay. 7 to the power 4. This will be equal to 7 into 7 into 7 into 7. When you multiply it, we are going to get 2401. Okay. So, we have evaluated the value of this exponential form. Similarly, 2 number minus 5 to the power 3. 
look at here this is a negative number and the power is what odd 3 is an odd number when a negative number and the power is odd then this sign minus sign will remain as minus and rest of the thing is 5 into 5 into 5 okay that is minus 5 into minus 5 into minus 5 which is equals to minus into minus plus plus into minus minus okay so 5 this product will be 125 okay so I mean when the power of a negative number is odd then the product will be in minus only and when it is in even the power is in even then the product will be a positive okay so this you remember now three number three by four whole to the power five this means what three by four into three by four into three by four five times okay five times we have to write and then the product we cannot cancel this okay so we'll multiply the numerator and we'll multiply the denominator and we'll write so when we'll multiply the numerator that is 3 is a 9 9 3 is a 27 and like this we get 243 here also the denominator you will multiply and here you are getting 1024 okay this manner we can do it number 4 is minus 5 by 2 whole to the power 2 you can see the power is in even and this is a negative number when the power is even that means the answer will come in positive just to write 5 by 2 into 5 by 2 okay so in this manner this will be 25 by 4 when you divide you will get 6 whole 1 by 4 okay number 2 question is express each of the following in exponential notation okay so number 1 minus 7 by 13 into minus 7 by 13 into minus 7 by 13 so minus 7 by 13 is 3 times here so we just have to write in exponential notation so minus 7 by 13 to the power 3 okay next number 2 number is minus 8 by 3 into minus 8 by 3 into minus 8 by 3 and minus 8 by 3 okay so minus 8 by 3 is 4 times here so simple to write minus 8 by 3 whole to the power 4 so this way we have done up to question number 2 okay I hope you are understanding the sums if not just revise the video classes question number 3 is express each of the following in exponential exponential notation okay so number one so we have to express this 343 by 512 in exponential notation for that we have to factorize this and this separately okay 343 so factorize it okay and 512 you factorized here so 7 4 is a 28 and 7 9 is a 63 here 7 7 is a 49 7 1 is a 7 and this one by 2 let us start 2 2 is a 4 2 5 is a 10 2 6 is a 12 similarly here 128 2 64 
to 32 to 16 to 8 to 4 2 to the 4 to 1 okay you see here huh? now to write in exponential form this 343 is 7 into 7 into 7 that is 7 to the power 3 and here this triplets are there so take out the triplets 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 here also 8 here also 8 so 8 into 8 into 8 is 512 okay so we can write 512 as 8 to the power 3 now the power is same so we can write 7 by 8 taking the power common we can write 7 by 8 to the power 3 okay in this manner question number 2 question number 2 minus 32 by 243 here also we have to factorize separately the numerator and the denominator so here by 2 16 to 8 to 4 and 2 ones are okay here 3 81 times 3 27 3 9 3 3 ja, 3 1 ja. so here 1 2 3 4 5 twos here 1 2 3 4 5 threes so we can write this one as minus is there only minus 2 to the power 5 by 3 to the power 5 okay so as the power are same okay so you can write minus 2 to the power 3 whole to the power 5 i hope you are understanding here now question number 3 okay question number 3 is minus 1 by 128 so here 1 is there in the numerator no need to factorize we have to factorize 128 128 let us factorize here by 264 by 232 and by 2 again 16 now here i am doing 2 8 za 2 4 za 2 2 za 2 1 za okay so how many times 2 are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 so this can be written as in exponential form as minus 1 by 2 whole to the power 7 okay as 1 to the power 7 is 1 only so minus 1 by 2 we can write here whole to the power 7 okay this much for today and in next class we will go for other sums of this exercise thank you